So, now we are just uh, north of Victorville. Um, I can't remember where this, uh, the closest town is called, but um, I don't know, we're about like maybe 10 miles north of uh, Victorville waiting for our tires to come in. So uh, I also went ahead and broke down and ordered a uh, TPMS so that we can hopefully not die from a blowout next time. And uh, we're going to get four new tires for the uh, drive axle and then we'll have all new tires on the RV. There's not really a whole lot to look at out here. The uh, road is actually fairly well maintained for what it is. There's a, uh, a jet uh, or airplane junkyard that way. A couple of solar farms. But uh, yeah. I'm just passing the time until we can get our tires and hit the road. Head to Flagstaff to hang out with our friends. Well, we just had a weird experience. Um, yeah, there's a, uh, a Muslim uh, Islamic cemetery out here where we're at, um, north of uh, Victorville. And uh, it, there's not really a whole lot of interesting stuff out here. So it's like one of the pens on the Google map. So we uh, tried to send the drone over to look at it, but uh, it's too close to the airport. So we couldn't look at it from afar. So we drove the car here and uh, we went in and we were like, man, this place is abandoned. That's a shame. And one of the people died like last year and he's, they're still uh, still getting his grave ready and everything. And then a guy rolls up on us in a uh, car with a rifle and uh, says to freeze that it's private property. And uh, he turns out to be a really great guy, <laughs> actually. Oh, uh, he scared the heck out of us. He, yeah, he his did, rifle he wasn't did. loaded or anything. Yeah, he, he did just... have it pointed at us for a while, but uh, he's just responding to uh, a lot of bad stuff happening because he says that people uh, took uh, took their pump system, uh, like they have a well and pumps, and they've been vandalizing their buildings, shooting stuff up. People are breaking into graves and vandalizing the bodies, thinking that maybe there's like money on the bodies. I don't know. But uh, I don't think they actually, they didn't actually get into the, where no, the bodies because are the, because they have they have like a mausoleum on top of them because it's uh, it's uh, their custom, I guess. Um, so it looks like there could be a body above ground, but it's actually buried seven feet below ground. But still, uh, people are breaking into graves out here. And he says that there's uh, just bad people. He says they have people that have illegal pot farms uh, and they're just roaming around stealing water and supplies. And he says that there's uh, other people that are all drugged up that are just going around and vandalizing stuff. But a uh, super chill guy, he said that uh, it's not safe out here. So he said to really so watch. This is a lesson for yeah. us. You know, we, we often think that wherever we go, that there's, if there's BLM, it's going to be safe, but that's not necessarily true. Yeah, we'll have to post a link of where we're at. But if you do come out here, just watch because uh, it might not be the safest place to hang out. Yeah, so we don't want to leave our rig on un, un, uh, unattended. Too long. Yeah, I mean we've got our security system on, and I've been watching it. But he uh, he like named off a bunch of vehicles to watch out for that he says are uh, known troublemakers. And he even told us that if we want, we can move our RV over there and we can stay on the property at the cemetery because <laughs> that might uh, dissuade people from coming in uh, vandalizing stuff if there's somebody there but um, I think that whenever we get our call for our tires we're just probably gonna leave <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah anyway that yeah, was interesting super nice guy it's like an ex uh, ex army soldier guy but he said he actually had a firefight with uh, somebody they were going in there to steal stuff and he started coming after them and they started shooting at him so they so he shot back and then they left it's wild there's nothing out here there's literally nothing out here but what there is out here people want to steal it so really weird and there's a really uh 
nice community about two miles north that looks like a lot of uh, nice tract houses that, uh, that um, are on uh, some man-made lakes. Looks like uh, pretty nice high-end stuff. And then like two miles to the south, there's a bunch of crackheads fighting over like bags of cement and buckets of water. Because <laughs> yeah, I mean, he said that somebody just stole 14 bags of concrete that they had. So. Watch out for the Yeah, I see it. It's okay, this is the car. We don't have to worry as much with the car. So, uh, yeah, interesting. But yeah, we won't be staying here for, for very long. Um, we might just leave tomorrow and maybe stay at a Walmart and wait out until um, the they're ready to give us our tires. Yeah, because he says like all hours of the night, he'll be there like working on stuff and he'll surprise them because they won't expect anybody to be there and they'll like, just roll in and start like, you know, tearing doors off of buildings and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Shame. Shame that uh, somebody is vandalizing graves. Yeah, that, that, For what? that is just really low. Yeah, it is. Well, we are leaving this. Hellendale. Hellendale and Adelante. We were Hellendale and Adelante on Hellendale Road, and uh, there's BLM camping all along the road. I've seen a couple of other RVs out here, but otherwise it's pretty sparse. Isn't that funny? Whenever I was talking to my uncle yesterday, I couldn't remember anything. But now I'm like, Hellendale, Adelante. <laughs> the brain is a crazy thing. So uh, we just didn't notice before because uh, there was no weight on that stem. But as soon as we put some weight on the stem, it started letting air out of it. So uh, that's something that you have to worry about. If you're installing a TPMS system, it's a good time to go around and check that all your stems are tight on your wheels. Yeah, so uh, we got 12 sensors and we can do all 12 tires uh, for $350 instead of, uh, instead of $550 and then still having to buy two more sensors. And the sensors are $30 a piece for extra ones. And uh, the monitor can actually do like uh, an insane amount of tires. It can do like uh, three axles of, uh, of dual wheels on the uh, RV and it can do uh, three axles on the uh, tow for, uh, you know, and I think those are duals also. So it's pretty flexible and it also can do the spares if you care to monitor the spares. And it's got a booster that comes with it. So I installed that. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I mean, it kind of, it's a double-edged sword because it caused the problem, but then it also saved us from the problem. <laughs> well, they really should have been tighter, too. Yeah. We just weren't aware they weren't tight enough. Also, uh, stuff that you want to have with you for to handle tires. This is a uh, regular consumer, like, car, little tiny air compressor, tankless air compressor. It says it can do 300 PSI. But the volume of air that it can do up over like 50 PSI is extremely low. It was at 45 by the time I found the problem, and it's like 20 minutes later and it's at 60 now. So you don't want one of these to fill up RV tires. You want to get another one that, uh, you know, maybe like one of the uh, 250 PSI good CFM ones uh, that they sell for off-roading, maybe, even though those will overheat after a while. Or uh, get one with a tank, like one of those little crafts. So we're heading to Sedona. The drive is just beautiful. Yep, we were up in uh, Flagstaff, uh, coming from uh, Southern California into Flagstaff, and then going down uh, to Sedona to meet up with uh, Pandemonium and some other people. There, wait until my uncle gets here from Georgia. Try to be honest, my good at letting down my God. I really want it for you. I was running in the dark when you said this was goodbye. That's when I realized I can't live without. Nothing left 
Yeah. Oh look, they have a fudge company. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Jackson. Yeah. Wyoming. Pretty sure with the uh, with that noise that I'm hearing that it's the power steering. And that's hooked into the brakes. Thank <laughs> you. 